Hello everybody and welcome to today's webinar. This is Pooja and I'm a part of CodeGround. So in today's session, we're going to be talking about the importance of employer branding in recruitment. Now your company's brand is actually an intangible collection of moments, experiences and offerings that come together as a package to speak to your targeted audience on both a professional and a personal level. Recruitment marketing has emerged as a multifaceted approach to attract, convert, and engage candidates. It's a framework that allows you to take control and approach this brave new hiring world proactively. As we go on with the presentation, you can feel free to raise any query or type in your suggestions and inputs. We'll have our talent acquisition head answering these questions at the end of the presentation. You can also get in touch with us after the webinar and we'll be happy to cover anything that hasn't been spoken about today. Let's try and keep the session in about 30 minutes, so let me just jump straight in. On the agenda today is a discussion on how employer branding is more important than ever today and how to make them want you. It's time to think like a marketer and consider your company a commodity and not just for the customers but for the job hunters as well. It's time to put your heads together in making your employer brand more attractive to your job seekers. In an increasingly competitive global marketplace, attracting and retaining the right kind of talent is central to a company's ability to grow. A strong employer brand can be a powerful business tool that can connect an organization's values, its people's strategy, and their HR policies to the corporate brand. What's more is employer branding can also raise an organization's visibility in the job market, providing it with a distinctive competitive advantage. For example, Google has been reportedly topping the charts and is considered the most preferred employer throughout the world. So what helps the 16-year-old American embassy maintain its ranking? Obviously, it has to be its philosophy, which is work hard and play harder. Besides this, continue a continual upgrade in employees' perks and benefits make it an employer of choice. But, but that's not the only thing that keeps employees glued to the company. Google is pretty cool that way. What it does is it, it encourages its people to do awesome things that actually matter. The employees are allowed to dedicate about 10% of their paid working time to dedicate to things that they really love doing. The company has taken a series of initiatives to strengthen its employer brand, and one of which is a compelling storyline. These are little small things that actually go a long way in creating a lasting impact on one's career. It's a candidate's market, and are you ready to compete? Everyone knows this, but are we really prepared to face it? According to a survey conducted by Glassdoor, a strong employer brand can woo passive candidates. They found that 84% of candidates would consider leaving the current company if another employer with an excellent reputation offered them a job. On top of that, 69% of those surveyed said that they would decline a job offer from an employer with a brand bad reputation. And remember, this is even at the cost of being unemployed. Employers should note that three out of four full-time workers are are open to or are looking for a new job and the average job seeker uses about 18 different sources when searching for a new role. So it's apparent that an employer's brand needs to be compelling in order for a business to stand out and draw relevant and engaging candidates oh, and also keep their employees that they already have got. So why should you not miss out on branding for successful recruiting? I mean, apart from the fact that it helps engage passive candidates, it influences the retention of the current talent, it generates more referrals for employees, and it gives you more control over your organization's public reputation. And if that is all not convincing enough, let's look at a few more points. It helps you cut down costs to attract candidates. This is a very straightforward thing. It's a language that everybody speaks, it's money. It helps you stand out from your competition. What more could you actually ask for in here? I mean, this is half the job done, right? Uh, you don't do it, someone else will define your brand for you. And this has to be the greatest horror story ever. Attract top talent. Now, this can't be more crucial, especially in today's candidate-centric market environment, you see. And it helps reduce the attrition rate. A brand an employee is actually proud of will directly lead to employee retention. 
The current is actually the right time to invest in creating a strong employer brand and tap into the target market. The companies that are proactive in talent acquisition in the emerging markets will certainly have an upper hand and are completely going to be driving the world economy very soon. 72% of top recruiting leaders worldwide agreed that employer brand has a significant impact on hiring process. Now that we're in agreement, let's look at some of the roles of employer branding in the emerging market. Powerful presence in social media. When it comes to social media, everybody wants in on the action. Now, because having a strong online presence would, uh, in return, provide you with a platform to showcase your company's brand, to talk about your values, your culture, etc. Strong financial constancy. Now, this is basically what we're trying to say here. We're trying to say it's strong financial stability. And adding to this, a study conducted by the Boston Consulting Group showed that companies that invest in an employer branding would experience revenue growth as much as 3.5% and a 2.5 profit margin increase. Employee engagement. Engaged employees build strong brands. Now companies with a strong employer brand have more engaged employees. By connecting two of your most valuable assets, that is your brand and your people, you can make a meaningful progress towards your employee engagement goals. Better recruitment cycle. A good employer image, a good employer image will help draw attention to your company and aid your recruitment process. Top talents and graduates would want to join your company and existing employees would actually really want to stay. Recognition. Branding a company as an employer of choice has important implications for attracting and retaining the best talent. Organizations that want to win the war of talent should not only aspire to become a great place to work, but they should aim at being recognized as one too. Do you know that your competitors are actually also looking for those candidates who you really wanted? Now, let's say that you have found your next really big superstar employee. This is one small problem. A minimum of 10 other guys that you may know or not know of are also in the same candidate. So what we'll have to do here is we'll have to devise ways to make sure the candidate wants you in return. How employer branding is important for campus recruitment. A majority of large employers in India have dedicated campus recruitment strategies. Now we agree, but still there are several roadblocks that exist in the process and its implementation to appeal to the new generation of workers. Organization are com organizations are coming up with an, uh, more innovative ways to engage campus talent to reduce the dropouts and to retain them on a long-term basis. Almost all organizations believe that campus recruitment is important and about 49% also feel that it's not being executed very well. You know. For every 60% organization, brand positions are a big obstacle when it comes to hiring talent from campuses. And this was revealed by a study from Times Job. So let's look at how you can brand yourself for a better presence during campus recruitments. Get connected online. These days, most of the organizations are promoting themselves over several social networking sites. Here you can look for specific college campuses and student organizations to get a better understanding of your audience. Attending more events. Now attend all types of events that you can think of, like campus events, campus, campus fairs. You can also make an effort and start looking. Where, and as you keep looking, there are you'll find more ways to get involved. Hackathons today help move milestones in the tech recruitment space. You can also approach your local campus career center to see how you can become more involved in the workshops, in lectures, etc. Promote internship programs. Now today many students have continuously been looking for internship opportunities and this is throughout their college career. So this will also be a great opportunity for you to test drive your future employees, you see. Promote your employees' stories. Using videos to show stories of your top employees would be useful. 
uh, by using these individuals engaging narratives, what you can do is you can actually construct an employer brand around job candidates who can see themselves relating to that particular scenario. Hand in hand with social media, social media profiles have been like the standard tools for researching and evaluating talent worldwide. And however, today candidates thoroughly vet their employers by looking at their LinkedIn, their Twitter and other social media profiles. So here we could positively be saying that either you stay abreast or you sink. Give them a reason to be there. Now creating an interactive session with the recruitment process can make the event more successful and engaging. You can also use the session to spot high potential or top talents, etc. Brand ambassadors for your brand. If you intend to connect with college students, sometimes you will have to be uh, engaging them in other college and other campuses as well. And what happens is college students in campus brand ambassador programs. And this can be a great activity which engages the entire crowd. Importance of content marketing in recruiting. It's important to treat our candidates as customers. They care about what they hear about your company from their friends. They listen to the twittering of your social networks and they're inter interested in intangibles like culture and the brand, etc. Content marketing strategies can help recruiters improve the way they measure the hiring process. It helps them rethink their social recruitment strategies and rewrite the job descriptions. With the best candidates off the market within as little as 10 days, we need to make sure that we focus on the candidates from the very first time they encounter the brand. How to come up with content for successful branding and recruitment? Collaborate with the HR and create relevant content. Often said recruiters are like the salespeople. Also often said is that recruiters should be thinking like marketers. Maybe the truth is somewhere in between. For example, Create content to appeal to technical developers, regardless of whether you're hiring at the moment or not. That way what happens is when the company actually wants to hire, it's already on their prospective employer's radar. Integrate recruiting and your branding. Uh, take care that your recruiting efforts are part of your planned strategy. This will see to that your strategic efforts are under the same umbrella and resources are not spent duplicating efforts. Get in touch with your brand's philosophy here. <coughs> Create a persona for prospective employees. A designer and a sales guy can't be reached with the exact same content. You need to understand that different types of people can, uh, you need to reach to and then figure out how best to reach them. Work with current employees. Talk to your employees and look at exit interviews as well as onboarding feedback to find out what is keeping employees at your company and what's actually driving them away. See how you can improve and what you can emphasize to the candidates. This way you'll understand their pain points better in the process and also get the pulse of the audience you're actually targeting. Showcase your A game. Your prospective employees would want to know why working for you would be meaningful, interesting and enriching. What you put out there in your content marketing should showcase all of that. And remember, a great design goes a long way in helping you do this. Always be mindful of the quality of your content. Now, while working on your content, before you even begin, ensure that you have some sort of a strategy in place. And uh, wandering away from this will, in fact, backfire and hinder with your advances. A day with us. Showcase the everyday perks of what's it like to to work at your company and weave your culture in the form of a beautiful story for your audience. They need to actually see that you care. Don't go overboard with job postings. Your social media pages shouldn't be looking like a search on monster.com. Instead, make sure to come up with content that's interesting and that answers why an individual should actually want to work for you. Train your teams to post jobs. Now your content marketing executive or a social media manager for that might really not be equipped to answer questions on a job listing and hence it is becoming all the more important to have a seamless system in place. Uh, you could do this by directing questions to your human resources executive from there. Measure the success of your efforts. Just like in a branding strategy, it's important to track your content marketing and use it as a recruitment tool. 
And always remember, when in conversation with your target audience about your content, it becomes proof that your content is actually truly engaging. Candidates today research a new employer in the very same way they research products and services they actually spend and buy. Then they expect the experience of engaging with a prospective employer to have a very similar consumer feel. And that's why today it's incredibly important to promote your unique employer brand at every single step of your candidate's journey. And what better platform could there be for this than your company website's career page? Let's look at a couple of stats to support what I've been saying. 52% of candidates first seek out the company's website and social media pages to learn about a new employer. An average attrition rate after about a year would be 33% from career websites uh, compared to only 22% from job portals or uh, job boards, etc. 76 percent of prospective job seekers prefer to apply through a company career page. 64 percent of companies use a career website as the most preferred channel for promoting their employer brand. What your company website's career page can do for your employer branding? Company value and culture. Now creating a branded career website portal for your company is important to boost your visibility to candidates. Besides, because uh, appl applicants want to visit your website to know and learn more about your company before they're actually ready to apply. Focus on your career pages content. Now focus on meaningful content to aid your site visitors. Other things which you could possibly be including in here would be live video feeds, you could have campaigns, you could have webinars, or you could even have periodic broadcasts, etc. Show where a potential hire could actually fit in. Your career portal should tell the potential candidates not just who you are, but what you stand for and why. Mobile compatibility for the millennials. Now, if the web page is not compatible with the subsequent devices, uh, potential job applicants would just probably go away and in today's scenario they might just never return. Offer an inside look at your workplace with a video. Now including an introductory video in your career page could be a substantial element as it always help, as it's always helps to showcase your company's culture, to talk about the people, your brand and your work environment, etc. We'll discuss this in a little more detail in the upcoming slides as a video is a great expression of abstract features. A well-made video and how it helps your brand personality shine through. Let's look at some of the points. Uh, today is a phase of social and visual revolution. One of the most exciting tools to emerge as a feature of HR's tech recruiting systems would be a video. Uh, not just video interviews, which are a wonderful tool for today's distributed workplace, but videos that give prospects a really good sense of a workplace's culture before they can begin their application process. There are, here are a list of top fry bands that are actually killing it at making great branding exercises through their videos. Some of them would be Apple, there is Ernst & Young, there's Google, Intel, Accenture, etc. Now remember, 90% of the internet traffic is video content. We always prefer to play instead of reading a story. So how to get videos right? And remember, this is generation YouTube we're going to be addressing. Show of perks and benefits. Video is the perfect way to show candidates all the bonuses of working at your company. Film snippets of staff events or parties and all the everyday stuff that makes your employee love coming to work. Have employees give you a glowing review. Prospective candidates are more likely to trust words from employees than just simple steps. Be authentic. Show and communicate what a picture of words simply can't. Segment your messaging, but also remember to stick to about two or three themes max. This way you get to cater to a wider range of audience. And at the same time, remember uh, the approximate time would be less than two minutes for a decent video. Understand their pain points and answer job seekers' questions. Have your hiring team compile the questions that the interviewees most frequently ask and then answer these questions in great detail in a video. 
Use your own people, but make sure that you showcase multiple departments and levels and turn your employees into brand ambassadors. Share your company's biggest wins and coolest projects. Job seekers want to know that your company is growing because uh, that will mean that they'll have an opportunity to grow with you. They also want to feel the pride and fulfillment in their work. And I'd like to conclude this off by saying that candidates look to associate with organizations which are both culturally and socially responsible. All these factors make an organization a brand. Now, this brand has to be created, it has to be nurtured and then developed. We thank all of you out there for participating and uh, you please feel free to contact CodeCron for any doubts or any recruitment needs. Um, have a great day everybody and happy recruiting. Thank you all.